Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to the channel and you like fragrance related content like first impressions, full in depth reviews, top 10 lists, fragrance haul videos, and participating in free fragrance giveaway videos as well, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. Today's video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 safe work fragrances to wear in 2021. So everybody works at different job facilities, so please keep that in mind. These fragrances work for me. I work in a warehouse slash factory company, so I can wear fragrances. I'm around 50 people at my job. Some people work at facilities that are bigger, much bigger than mine, 100 people, 200 people. So please keep that in mind. Be careful with your sprays. I would limit one to three sprays when you're wearing these fragrances. If they don't project very loudly, you can go more heavier, but please respect other people when wearing fragrances at work. You don't want to be Mr. Cologne guy. Of Azaro, Wild Mint. So Wild Mint, spread on test strip here. This one here, ooh, I love this one. One that has minty cooling effect to it. It has Calypso that gives a little bit of a watermelon watery vibe. This one here has patchouli, um, but it's not dirty patchouli. It's very nice, subtle patchouli lightly. And there's some vetiver in the fragrance as well, but it really comes down more in the dry down. But this is a perfect, refreshing fragrance. It does have bergamot in the opening, but I don't get a freshness with bergamot. I get more of a freshness with the mintiness of this fragrance here. So it's uplifting mint. I know some people think crypto mint is too minty, too toothpastey. Um, too chocolatey, but I like that one. And so is my other fragrance reviewer, Dr. Fragrance, shout out to you. We, but I love Zara Wild Mint. This is a safe fragrance to wear to work. I have a full review I'll leave down below if you want to check out the full review. But for me personally, I'm getting about a good uh, five to maybe six hours of longevity and projection. It pushes for like the first hour or so. So it's nice for work and nobody's going to be offensive by this because it's fresh, clean, but minty at the same time. And people like mint as a note in fragrances. They like to smell mint in the air. So you know you're going to smell fresh and clean and people are going to like the way you smell and you might garner a few comments. So definitely check out Azaro Wild Mint. Number nine fragrance is from the House of Hermes. And this is their new 2021 release, H24. So this fragrance here, I like the beautiful bottle presentation as itself. I bought a 100 ml bottle. Okay. Cap, the, the cap snaps on the place, which is really nice. So this one here is very different than a lot of other fragrances on this lineup or in this list here. There is a freshness about this fragrance where it's kind of cleanness in the fragrance, but it does have notes of Narcissus. It has notes of uh, Clary Sage. This fragrance here has Rosewood. This is something that what I've smelled and what I've heard from other stories is that it has that feel of a press, like you just freshly ironed a nice clean shirt or some type of uh, clo clothing wear or maybe more of a fresh laundry detergent type of a smell when you get your laundry out the uh, washing machine. And I get that vibe. It's very fresh, it is uplifting, but it's not one of your freshies like a Blue Day Chanel or Dior Sauvage, but it's a fresh fragrance. But there are some elements in this fragrance that's very different than what's out on the market. I think a lot of people will like this fragrance. It's very different. The performance, um, is about average. It's not a beast mode fragrance, but the, for the first hour, hour and a half, you will get noticed. But longevity, you're looking at about um, five to six hours. Um, you might get maybe seven, depends on your skin chemistry, but this one is great. I love wearing this one to work. I bought the 100 ml bottle because that's how much I enjoy wearing it. Um, you could buy the 50 ml bottle as well. I'll leave the links down below. Number eight fragrance is from the House of Perfumology. It's no other than from the House of Perfumology. This is Lima. This fragrance here has notes of mint, has notes of tomato leaf, has notes of pimento, has notes of orange. This one here is a nice one, man. I gotta tell you something. Um, sprayers are nice. Ooh. So this one opens up very refreshing. You're gonna get a nice, light minty feel, very fresh with the citruses, with the orange in the opening. This is a great summertime and spring fragrance, but this is perfect for the office. What I mean by that, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's in the middle where people are gonna catch whiff of this and they're gonna like the way you smell. That tomato leaf is very different where when somebody smells like, oh, I never smelled a fragrance like that before. And you're going to be that person that's gonna stand out at work that doesn't wear Dior Sauvage, Blue Day Chanel, so on and so forth. And this is a niche fragrance. 
um, from personal knowledge, I leave the link down below. Near Guys, the owner, um, created this fragrance with the Perfumer, which is a, a beautiful fragrance by itself. The bottle presentation is nice. It's kind of minimalistic, but it's very nice, nicely done. And this is a 50 ml bottle. And this is great. Definitely, if you don't want to buy a full bottle, I understand because fragrances are expensive. I'll leave a link down below. You can get a sample of this too. This is great just to wear casual or dressed up. And with the freshness, with the orange and the tomato leaf and the mint, give it a nice cooling effect where it's nice and refreshing and you're gonna to wanna to keep spraying it and spraying it throughout your day to just to enjoy the opening. But performance for me, I'm getting about six hours on my skin, about five to six hours. And it pushes for like the first hour, hour and a half. But definitely check out Lima by the House of Perfumology. You won't regret it. My number seven fragrance is from the house of Rosia. This is Rosia Parfum Elysium Cologne. So this one here is one that, ooh, oh man. Beautiful, elegant, classy, gentleman fragrance. It's very fresh, very clean, uplifting. It has notes of bergamot, lemon, has notes of sandalwood, patchouli. Um, this here is just a masterpiece of a fragrance for a niche fragrance house. This is expensive, so yes, I understand some of these fragrances are expensive and some are cheap, but everybody has different tastes and what they can afford, so please keep that in mind. Now, this bottle here um, was sent to me by the house of um, Perfumology, but nevertheless, I'll leave links down below. You can check out the full review, but I love this one a lot. I would've bought it myself because I have the other roses that I paid for, so at the end of the day, this is a great fresh and clean uplifting scent. For somebody that maybe is tired of wearing the designer form of fragrances like Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, Versace Dylan Blue, Versace Pour Rome. Chris, a lot of people wear it in my jobs. I wanna wear something different. I wanna stand out. I, I got a promotion at work. I wanna buy more of a Spencer fragrance. I got you covered. This is Roger Dove Elysium. It's great for the office. People love this fragrance. This is what the problem. I wear this to work and people just love the way this smells. Now, performance, is on a very per person, so please keep that in mind. For me, I get about an hour of projection, about an hour, hour and a half of projection. It pushes very nicely, and after that, it does settle close to the skin, but when people get close to me, they wanna ask me questions or about a specific situation at work, they love the way this smells off of me, like the way it radiates for the first couple of hours, but I'm getting about five to maybe six hours of longevity, which isn't bad for a freshy type of a scent from the House of Rosia. I love the beautiful bottle presentation, and I love the fact it says Elysium, and it has that cool kind of Transformers uh, symbol, but it's not, but I do like the way this one smells. If you like freshy type of fragrances or slash shower gel type of fragrances, and you want a more of an upper class, you want to stand out, Definitely check out Rosia Parfum Cologne. This is Elysium. My number six fragrance is from the House of Crete. There's really no introduction to this fragrance. No, it's not Viking. It's something everybody else loves. Crete Aventus. So this is the OG. Now, this is a fragrance that will get you compliments. It has the freshness, the cleanness, the bergamot. It has the um, smokiness about this fragrance quality. The birch. Um, this is a fragrance that will, will, will be the fragrance that everybody loves this fragrance. There's nothing not to like about it. There's different batch variations, which I don't want to get to in a video, but definitely check that out down the road. Some are more smoky, some are more fresh, some are more heavy pineapple. It does the job. Am I the biggest fan of this fragrance? Not really, but the few times I've worn this, people love the way this smells off me or they love the way it smells in the air. And like, wow, this fragrance smells amazing, but they just don't wanna pay that price point for this fragrance, and I understand it. But does it garner comments? Yes. Will you smell amazing? Yes. Does it perform? Well, that I can't say because everybody's skin chemistry will be different. So for me personally, I get about excuse me, seven to eight hours on my skin, and it pushes for the first two hours, and I'm happy. I don't love the fragrance, but I'm happy wearing it, and I do like the aspect when people smell like, oh, I never smelled that before, and I say, oh, it's Creed Events. Oh, I've heard that fragrance in the GQ magazine, or I heard about that fragrance because famous rappers or superstars or movie stars wear this type of fragrance. So if you like fresh fragrances, you wanna stand out, you have extra money to just blow on fragrances, and you wanna smell better than anybody else at your job, or you wanna let people know that you mean business, definitely buy Creed Aventus. This is probably the nicest thing I'm ever gonna say about this fragrance, so please take it with a grain of salt. I'm sorry I didn't put Viking on here, but this is what it is, Creed Aventus. 
So we're down to my number five. These are five fragrances I wear the most to work. I love wearing them so much, and I hope you guys like these fragrances well. If not, not nah, no worries. Number five is from the House of Christian Dior. You know I love this brand. It's no other than Dior Sauvage EDT. Or you can get the EDP. It's up to you. Now this one here, love the magnetic cap. It's fresh, it's clean. You're gonna get the bergamot, the citrus is in the opening, give it a nice pop, fresh, uplifting scent. You're gonna get some pepperish fragrance here. It's not overly peppery, not overly spicy. It's nice and blend well with the rest of the notes in the fragrance. People like this fragrance. Every time I wear this fragrance, People at work just gravitate to it, like the freshness about, like the cleanness about the fragrance. When I wear this fragrance, people just seem to say, oh wow, you smell nice and fresh today. I have not smelled that fragrance before. Cause a lot of people don't go to Mesa for and smell fragrances. They just like get whatever fragrance they think is good and they just wear it. And then they don't know about other fragrances that smell a lot better than what they have at home. But by all means, wear whatever fragrance you wanna wear, just enjoy it. But this is a shower gel, fresh type of a fragrance that you can spray it, dumb reach, one, two, maybe three sprays, wear to work, and people are gonna like the way you smell, and you're gonna get through the day wearing this fragrance here. Some people might get six hours, seven, eight, maybe more. Just wear the fragrance and just enjoy it to work. You don't have to have a fragrance that lasts 10, 20 hours at work. Unless you want a fragrance like that, well, this is the wrong video for you, but what I'm saying is this is a nice office scent to wear. Just be careful with the sprays. If people are gonna like the way you smell, you will smell different if nobody wears fragrances like this at work. So definitely check out Dior Sauvage EDT or the EDP. Number four fragrance is from the house of Chanel. It's no other than Blue Day Chanel Parfum. So you can get the EDT or the EDP or the Parfum, which I have here. Had the big size here. Um, I love this one a lot. So this one here, love the magnetic cap. So it has citruses, fresh bergamot opening. There's geranium, there's lavender. There's sandalwood and cedar. Love this one. This is one that I just love to wear to work. It's not a beast mode fragrance. Please understand that. If you want more of a stronger um, projection, I would go with the EDT or the EDP. But this one here is a nice moderate projection. I know when I wore this to my girlfriend's sister's house, um, I was hanging out with um, Rob and I was hanging out with my girlfriend's um, sister Jackie. And Rob was like, wow, Chris, whatever fragrance you got on smells good. And I spray it like about 20 minutes before I went to his house, and he loved the way Blue Day Chanel Parfum smelled. I'm like, okay, cool. It's nice to get other people's reaction. He's not really into fragrances, but he does like to smell nice. But he doesn't have a lot of fragrances, but he said he would wear something like this to work um, or casual day to day. So I probably end up getting him a bottle down the road, but nevertheless, this is Blue Day, Blue Day Chanel Parfum. If you just want a fresh and clean, fresh shower gel fragrance, if you don't want the Dior Sauvage, definitely go to Chanel route. If you like Chanel fragrances more, you definitely need this in your fragrance collection, either the EDT, the EDP, or the Parfum. It's a great fragrance. Everybody performance is different. For me, easy eight hours plus, no worries on my skin. It pushes for the first hour, hour and a half, but it's not heavy like the other two uh, of the Chanel lineup, of, of the Blue Day Chanel lineup, so keep that in mind. This is more closer to the skin, but when people get whiffs of this or, or they get the CIs behind you, people love this fragrance. Definitely check out Blue Day Chanel. Parfum, I highly recommend it. Number three fragrance from the House of Parfums de Marley or PDM, I love this house so much. This is a great fragrance, Parfums de Marley. This is Sedley. So this one here is amazing, oh my God. Oh man. This fragrance has notes of spearmint, bergamot, uh, mandarin orange, patchouli, vetiver, grapefruit, lemon, this is a great fragrance to just wear, it's to spray and go. What I mean by that is that you can just take this fragrance, heavy cap, be careful with it. Just take it, spray it on, and go throughout your day, you're gonna smell nice, refreshing, clean, minty, uplifting scent. Now, my version is the first version that came out. Um, people are complaining about the performance, and I understand that. I didn't get the best performance. I get about three to four hours. They made an updated version of it, and that one lasts great. I get about, I think it's like seven hours on my skin. I get about, I think, three hours more than what I get with this one here. So I'm, I'm happy with the new formulation. I got to pick up a bottle, but I still have this one. I'm about halfway empty. 
I love this one a lot from the House of Perfumes de Marley. It's a refreshing scent that you can just spray on um, day or night and people are gonna like the way you smell. It's not a loud fragrance, but you don't want a loud fragrance at the office. You don't want to like have a projection be smoke fragrance office unless you don't care about your colleagues and work partners at work. By all means, buy a beast mode fragrance. This is nice and safe. You're gonna smell fresh and clean and people are going to say, wow, I like the fact you're wearing this fragrance. It smells fresh. It has a, does it have mint in it? Like it has them type of notes that people are going to gravitate, gravitate to and love the way you smell. I love this one a lot. I wear this one to work and it's very nice and light. I know I'm not gonna offend anybody. I know nobody's going to be like, dang man, why are you wearing that bad fragrance to work? It's just an uplifting clean scent that Majority of people will love it and you should garner a few comments or check out some other fragrance from the House of Perfumes de Marley like Perfumes de Marley Greenly, which I'll be buying shortly and I will do a full review on my channel. But nevertheless, check out Perfumes de Marley. Sadly, you won't regret it. My number two fragrance is from the House of Zerzhoff. It really needs no introduction. I love this fragrance with a passion. It's no other than Zerzhoff Renaissance 1861. This fragrance has notes of bergamot, uh, lemon, pettigrain, Lily of the Valley, uh, mint, amber, patchouli, and cedar. Beautiful scent. Every time I wear this fragrance, I felt like I want to go to a tropical island or a nice resort, somewhere where it's uplifting, like a nice vacation, and enjoy a nice, refreshing adult beverage and just wear a nice fragrance like this. The mint here is very nice. It's not overly crazy mint where it could be headache inducing, but it's a nice mint, well-rounded, blended with the bergamot that gives it that citrus feel and the, and the lime in this fragrance. It's a gorgeous, freshy fragrance for the hotter months to come, for spring and summer, but by all means, this could be a perfect signature scent for any gentleman or female, perfect unisex, unisex fragrance, and just wear it to work casual performance is great i'm easily getting eight hours on my skin maybe longer it's a nice refreshing fragrance for them hours that you're wearing you do get some rose in the fragrance you do get the amber in the fragrance and the patchouli but the first couple hours is very refreshing people love the way it smells on me but until we talk about the price point they're like oh i can't spend that money i can't pay that uh almost 300 dollars for a zerzhoff fragrance and they are expensive so definitely keep that in mind this is a fragrance you need to sample first. Go to Perfumology. I'll leave a link down below. Buy yourself a sample. Try it out. If you love it, then buy it. If you feel like, you know what? I only want one expensive fragrance in my collection. Buy this. 100 ml bottle. One or two sprays, you're good to go. This will last you a long time if you're not a crazy fragrance nut like me and just own one fragrance you'll love. You can wear it dressed up, dressed down, to work, date night, or a daytime date, or a nice brunch or a nice evening scent. This is a perfect scent to wear all year round as a signature scent if you want one fragrance and you want to smell different than everybody else where you live at and where you work out. Work at, definitely get Zerzhoff Renaissance 1861. My number one fragrance, take a guess, leave a comment down below before I mention it. I love this fragrance a lot. I just purchased it recently. I had got a gift card from my friend, uh, Louisiana Fragrance. So thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it as a birthday gift. I love this fragrance almost for two years, but I never could afford it. From the house of Lila Beau, Bergamot 22. So let's go over some of the notes in it. So we have notes of Bergamot, grapefruit, we have orange blossom, and we have pedigree, musk, cedar, grapefruit, amber, and vanilla. This is amazing fragrance. This is my scent of the day too. So I'll do a little bit more sprays. I love this fragrance. A beautiful um, citrus fragrance. One of the best citruses on the planet between this and Zerzhoff Neo. If you have Neo, you don't really need this. It's redundant, but if you don't have Neo, definitely buy Bergamot 22. If you just want a refreshing, clean, bright orange citrus fragrance to wear all year round, this is a perfect scent. This is a 50 ml bottle which is gonna run you $192. Or if you want a signature scent, buy the bigger bottle. Um, it's a little bit better price per mil. You can get a $280 for a 100 ml bottle of this. You can personalize your bottle from Le Labo and you can have your name or maybe a Pacific um, date or something. I have casual fragrance, which is pretty cool. You can personalize your own bottle. And Lilla Beau fragrances, when it says Bergamot 22, it has 22 ingredients in it or notes in the fragrance, so you understand how many notes are in this fragrance, which is pretty cool because a lot of the fragrances do have a um, different um, name and different 
stuff about like Santel 33 has more of the sandwood, which I love that one. They do have another 13, which had the Embroxin in, in that fragrance with DNA. Um, they do have Rose 31, they do have Patchouli uh, 27, and they have Neroli 36, Bergamot 22. Amazing, freshy to wear any type of year. It projects for the first hour and a half on my skin. People catch whiffs of it, and the longevity is about six hours for me. Now it's so long, freshy for six hours. I know people want seven or eight, but you're getting six hours of a fresh fragrance. A lot of fresh fragrances can't even make it to six hours. So you're getting that fresh and cleanness throughout the day. If you want to reapply it, you just take it with you, spray it again, buy a travel atomizer, and you can use this and spray it in there and just respray yourself after several hours at work. And you're going to smell nice and fresh throughout the day. I love Bergamot 22. This is my favorite citrus fragrance in the world. And this is a niche fragrance, so keep that in mind. But definitely check out Le Labo Fragrances. This is Bergamot 22. I think you will absolutely love this fragrance or go head over heels if you like citrus bright fragrances and you're tired of designer fragrances. This is a great, no, this is the number one great niche citrus fragrance on the planet, in my opinion. I know there's probably other ones, but this is the best, it's fire. Thank you for watching another fragrance video. If you like these top 10 videos like this and summer and spring, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate it. Make sure you click the bell icon for future videos like this and giveaway announcements, you will be notified. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe out there in the world. I care about every single one of you and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.